If you're into ethical hacking and cybersecurity, you might already know about Black Arch Linux. If not, it's an Arch-based Linux distribution designed for ethical hacking and security purposes, packed with a huge collection of cybersecurity tools. There are multiple ways to install Black Arch, but none of them officially support WSL or Windows subsystem for Linux. However, since many people use WSL for learning red teaming, in this video we're going to install Black Arch Linux inside WSL. So if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video. Anyway, if we head over to the official Black Arch website, you'll notice that there's no option to install Black Arch for WSL. We only get three options, a full ISO, which is around 22 gigabytes, a slim ISO, and a net install ISO, but none of them are meant for Windows subsystem for Linux. Similarly, if we go to the Microsoft Store and search for Black Arch, we won't find anything. That's because Black Arch isn't available there. For your information, the Microsoft Store is actually where we download Linux distributions for WSL. We have Kali Linux, Debian, Ubuntu, and even Arch Linux available, but there's no trace of Black Arch. So what can we do? The solution is to install Arch Linux first and then install Black Arch on top of it. It's actually pretty simple. First, you need to make sure WSL is installed on your Windows system. To do that, search for Windows features in the search bar, open it, scroll down, and enable Windows subsystem for Linux. Follow the steps shown, and once you're done, Windows will ask you to restart your system. After restarting, you can verify that WSL is installed by opening a terminal and typing WSL dash version. If it shows the WSL version, that means it's installed correctly. Also, make sure you're using WSL version 2, not version 1, because WSL LGG and graphical support are not available in version 1. If your default version is 1, you can change it to version 2. The next step is installing Arch Linux. There are two ways to do this. The first method is through the terminal by typing wsl-install-d Arch Linux, which will download and install Arch Linux automatically. The second method is through the Microsoft Store. You can simply search for Arch Linux and download it from there. This version isn't officially maintained by the Arch community, it's a third-party release, but it works well. Once the installation is complete, you can launch Arch Linux from the search bar, and it will open in a new terminal window. From there, you can use Pacman to update and upgrade the system. After that's done, we can move back to the Black Arch website. You'll find the link in the video description. If you scroll down on the download page, you'll see a section titled Installing on Top of Arch Linux. All we need to do is copy the first command and paste it into our Arch Linux terminal. This command downloads the strap.sh file from the Black Arch website using curl and saves it locally. If you open the strap.sh file in a text editor, you'll see that it's just a normal bash script that runs a few instructions. When executed, it automatically adds the Black Arch repository to your existing Arch Linux installation, allowing you to download Black Arch tools. After downloading the script, we need to make it executable. You can do that with the provided command, which simply gives executable permissions to the file. Then, run the script to add the Black Arch repository to your system. Once that's finished, update and upgrade the system again using Pacman. You should now see Black Arch repositories listed, which means everything was added successfully. If you want, you can install all the available Black Arch tools, but keep in mind that many of them are outdated or no longer maintained. Instead, it's better to install only the tools you actually need. For example, if you want to check whether nmap is available, you can search for it using pacman s s nmap. As you can see, nmap is available in the Black Arch repository. You can install any tool by simply using pacman s followed by the package name. This way, you can use Black Arch tools without needing a virtual machine or installing a full Black Arch system. Just be cautious since some tools in the repository are outdated or unmaintained. That's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one, and don't forget to spam ScriptKitty in the comments.